I'm um, Sophie. I work at Verf. Um, you probably, lots of people always ask me this question, what does Verf do? We've just recently been rebranded, so it makes it even more difficult for me to explain to other people. But basically, it's an invite-only um, platform to elevate your experience. So it's basically um, selling tickets for um, festivals and so forth, anything you can think of including hot air balloons and all of that. Um, but then because it's invites only, so you don't hear about it until you are an ambassador and so forth. But I'll go through um, the biggest problem that I have in HR, although there are obviously 99 of them, is around career conversations. So a lot of the things that I do in my role is to equip people with the tools and the resources to talk about their careers and um, their career path and how they can actually be empowered to make those right decisions for themselves. And over a period of time of me being coached for a long time now, um, and then also myself going into coaching, I finally realized that one of the best things to do is actually to empower people to have a lot more self-awareness that they should. So a lot of companies don't invest in, um, in coaching, for instance, whereas at Verve right now, We've implementing a lot of coaching um, support. There's a lot of tools that are available in the company, but more importantly, um, there are different layers in the company where different levels get direct one-to-one -one coaching so that they understand themselves a lot more. And then at the same time, um, we also do group coaching for, for teams, for managers, um, training them to be better um, at their jobs, but more importantly, is to make them understand what is what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses, rather than just having that specific conversation, just talking about what you need to do to get there, but I'm not here to help you to get there. So that's why coaching is so important that we've realized, and for you to find your self-awareness as well. So a few things that we have looked at, and probably you know, most of these points I've already talked about, is I'll give you a great example to depict this picture, is that we're now running um, coaching sessions. For, for instance, we've just implemented a year-long coaching session, which is classroom-based, Zoom-based, everything else, because we've got remote workers everywhere. So it's easily accessible for people in different kind of time zones. And we've kicked off a coaching, um, we've kicked off this program with a neo personality test. So a neo personality test is usually one of those tests that you do to tell you, you you're nodding your head, which means you've heard of it. It's a great test. It it goes into it goes into so much details that it tells you specifically how your manager should be managing you to help you succeed in your role. So this is purely based on your strength your weaknesses, how you react emotionally, so no more taboo as you're too emotional to make decisions like that. You're actually meant to, to empower yourself to make much more better decisions and clearer decisions just because you're emotional, but then you use that as a strength. If you're interested, go and look into the Neo Personality Test. So what I'm saying is we kicked off that program, we ran Neo Personality um, Test, everybody in the company gets to do the test, and then we ran four sessions of, um, of classroom coaching so that every single person understands what their score means. And then at the same time, we group um, managers together of different levels where they also get a different kind of coaching where they understand themselves and also how to coach people of these kind of um, personalities. So because we've went through so many, um, so, so many experiments on, on why people are still unsuccessful in their role, although you know, you go into a role, you redefine, you redefine, you redefine your job profile, and then eventually you're still failing because something is missing. So this is what we've done. So because of that program, we're now getting, actually, the success there is we're meant to run four sessions, three sessions in people are already reaching out to their manager to change their job profile so that they have much more space. And they're also obviously empowered to talk about their career a lot more because it's not about waiting to be promoted into the next stage. It's about understanding yourself so that you're not always going to be asking for the next role, but you're also knowing, having that awareness of how and when you're ready for the next role. A quick, um, a quick um, example as well. We run coaching. Obviously, coaching is only great if there is something coming out of it. We also run a mastery, um, a mastery program. So why we call it a mastery program is because 
outside of all the coaching that you have done, the program is actually meant to find your ex. So you're looking at what you love most and what you do best, and you have the specific conversation and the discussion with your manager to find your ex, which is your best self. So your job description isn't just written because the, your predecessor have been doing that role that way, because no two individuals are going to be exactly the same, right? And so because of this mastery program, we are going through a lot of training because so many people don't understand how to even start having those conversations is because it's very, very difficult. Um, we're going through a lot of experimentation right now, but basically what the program is meant to do is you go into coaching, you understand yourself better, you bring your best self to have that conversation with your manager and then drive your career forward. If at any one point in time, you and your manager cannot come to a consensus that the next step is actually available, the next step that you want in your career is not available in the company, then it's fine. Then we have a much better lever than a lot of companies will have. And that's the aim of that. I don't know if my um, seven minutes is up now, but basically that's, that's, that's the biggest problem I've had in my whole HR career. I don't think we've cracked it yet, but we're, I am thoroughly enjoying myself, running a lot more coaching, getting a lot more people accepting um, to talk about self-awareness more, and I think it's a great deal, and I hope that we're making a much bigger change in the company. Thanks.